Hey everybody, my name is Jonah and I'm here to show you how to multi-map in Ableton. So the first step would be to download it from the Max for Live website, uh, which if you Google multi-map Ableton, it should be your first result. So we just click into that. Go in here, click download device. I've downloaded it already. So the way that I've always brought it in is I just drag it in. I'm sure there's other ways but I literally just drag it in. I've already got it in there, but I would have just done that. So take a look here. So multi-map is great for assigning one single knob to a whole bunch of different knobs. Uh, so in this example, we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna press map and assign it to the dry wet of this distortion in this channel. I've just got a synth going on here and a little loop that I have to play so that we can test it out. So now this assignment is assigned to this input so that when I press play on this loop, the dry wet of this distortion exists now. So sounds pretty good. So let's assign something else to it. You could assign more than one parameter to this amp or you could assign a whole other effect. So let's do that. Let's get the auto pan in here and I'm going to take the amount, press map, press amount of the auto pan and then press play turn that up now we've got an auto pan so let's say I wanted to go really crazy and map a rate of the auto pan so I'm going to do that press play so let's say that sounds awesome but maybe the rates too much this is where you can edit the amount of those mappings. So frequency may be a little too much. So I'm going to take it that maximum amount and turn it down slightly. So maybe to 68. Yeah. Press play. That sounds fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, so that's how you use multi-map. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any comments below and feel free to subscribe. Thank you.